her name's my Kayla. Her name's Kayla for everyone else. And the whole apartment complex knows her. Everybody loves her. Um, she was funny, really, really goofy, loving, and she was very, very protective over her siblings. And on Tuesday morning, she protected her five-year-old brother. She was grabbing him and trying to get him to safety. Guajardo says Michaela and her three siblings had just stepped out of the apartment complex to sit on the back of her truck. And I seen a black car pulling up and they just start letting shots off. I was in the house, I heard like a lot of shots go off. Like they just went stopping. So she raced downstairs. They were still shooting at the time, but I really wasn't thinking about that. Like, I just wanted to get them. Guajardo says she originally thought her five-year-old son was shot. But my youngest had blood all over him. But it was her sister's blood who was found lying in the back of the truck. I just keep having flashbacks to how I see my sister laying on a truck, lifeless, fighting for her life. Guajardo says after a long wait, police and EMS arrived and took Michaela to the hospital. I knew they was going to tell me that she wasn't going to make it. And they said that she was brain dead. And they were like, did you not want to see her? And I said, no, I want to go home. There's no reason for me to stay up here if my sister not coming home with me. And they miss her. She can't tell me that she loved me like, no. And the fact that I got to deal with not waking up with her no more. Her not being here, not seeing her smile. How can you sleep when every time you close your eyes, you see your baby? <laughs> Michaela's mother calls the shooter. A coward is going to shoot up an apartment complex instead of whoever that person is that you obviously are afraid of going to them. It's coward. Guajardo says she hears gunshots at the complex almost every day. Two days before this, I had just reached out and was trying to get out. I, I just moved in. I wanted to get out of my lease. I was telling her that I didn't feel safe. My children are not safe to go outside. And lo and behold, two days later. She says management at the apartment complex hasn't contacted her after this incident.